A bunny balloon? It's art time! Where's Mr. Mayberry? Let's get busy! Happy Easter and welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Origami is the ancient Japanese art of folding paper. Today I'm going to show you how to make an origami inflatable rabbit. So let's get started. It's time to fold. For this project, we start with an 8.5 inch by 8.5 inch square. Okay, take your square. Fold it in half like a triangle. Press down good on your folds. Open it up. Turn it so that the crease is vertical. Fold the bottom to the top. Line up the edges as best you can. Okay, open that up. Turn it back like a square. Fold the bottom edge to the top to make a rectangle. Okay, open this up. Turn it so that this crease is vertical. Fold the bottom to the top again to make a rectangle going the other direction. Okay, we're going to turn this so that the open part is at the bottom. And we're going to be making, starting with what's called the water bomb base. And I open the side and then press the top down inside. Press on both slanted edges and then this is going to fold in half. We can press down again. So that's half of it. And then we do the same thing to the other side. You open the end, press the top down inside, fold on your side creases here, and then fold this back in half and press down good across the middle. Now base is a starting place. Once you make a base you can turn it into several different things. And so this is what they call a water bomb base. Looks like that. But today we're going to make an inflatable rabbit. So now that I have it, the water bomb base, I'm going to take the bottom edge and fold it so it lines up down the middle. And I take the other half, this flap on the other half, and fold it so that it lines up down the center. These two pieces should meet in the middle, but not overlap. Okay, the next step is going to be to fold the outside corners to the middle. I'm going to turn it sideways. This is just easier for me to do it this way. And fold that point to the center. Press down good on the fold, and then I spin it around and do the same thing on the other half. Fold it so they touch in the middle but not overlap. Okay, turn it back this direction. Now these two points that we folded at the top of them top of these triangles there's a pocket. I'm going to open the pocket and take the flap directly above it, fold it over and stick it inside of that pocket as far as I can and then I'm going to press that all flat. Press it down flat. Okay, do the same thing to the other side. I open the pocket, take the top 
point there and stick it inside that pocket. And then I fold this all flat. Now in traditional origami, you do not use tape, but today we're going to make an exception. So I get a piece of clear tape and I'm going to line it up down the middle. And this will help hold it all together when we inflate the rabbit. Okay, turn the whole thing over on the other side. This time we're going to spin it around so the triangle is upside down. And we're going to fold the bottom slanted edge on the right and line it up down the center. Are we making a paper airplane? No, we're not making a paper airplane. We're making a bunny. Do the same thing to the other half. Fold it so that it lines up side by side. Again, they should touch in the middle, but not overlap. Okay, now I'm going to press here in the center and take the flap on the top right and I'm going to peel it over so that it makes a triangle shape. And I want to line it up and fold it so that the bottom here and the top here are parallel, that they go the same direction. So line that up so that those two line up. Do the same thing on the other half. Again, you're trying to get these two lines to be parallel. Okay, we're going to take the top edge here and fold it so it lines up down the middle, right on the crease. It's a little bit harder because the paper is now stacked, so it's thicker. Fold that over and press down good on the fold. And do the same thing on the other half. Take the top edge and fold it over so they line up down the center. You want them to meet in the middle but not overlap. Okay, one more time we're going to take the outside edge and fold it to the center on both the right and the left. Each time we fold, it does get a little bit harder to do. Same thing on the left side. Okay, these two sides are going to be the ears, so stand them up. Once again, we're going to take a, a piece of clear tape and tape down the center. And now it's time to blow up the bunny. So what we're going to do is you take, um, if you look at it from this end, this is where we're going to add air on this end and you want to separate the sides here a little bit to just help the the bunny to expand a little and then add a, just a small puff of air right here in the end okay it's going to look like this you can set it up on the table and that's our project for today an inflatable rabbit Origami inflatable rabbits make nice Easter decorations. If you'd like to show me the rabbits that you've made, check out the contact information below. And if you like origami, why not check out Origami Time with Mr. Mayberry. Well, thanks for coming to the art room today, and I'll see you next time. Hmm. Pneumatic rabbit? 
air hair.